Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. My name's Michelle. I do beauty and makeup content each and every week. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, please make sure you give this one a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow here on YouTube. And don't also forget to hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And today we are doing some very seductive, smoky Valentine's Day look. And guess what? It's all from the drugstore. 100%, 100% from the drugstore. If you want like a fun, vibrant pink colors, just a fun Valentine's Day look, then go ahead over to my TikTok because I'm gonna be filming some brighter colors for Valentine's Day. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Let me just start it off with this. You are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy with or without makeup, okay? Remember that. Let's go ahead and get started in today's video. All I did was prime my lids and I did my eyebrows just cause I didn't, I'm not gonna do that on camera. But if you're new here, all I do is one eye on camera and the other eye off camera. And that's just for time's sake, but I'm literally doing the same thing on the other eye. We're gonna do this eye on camera. And today we're keeping it affordable in drugstore and we're using the e.l.f little bite size palette and this is in the shade Truffles. This is honestly my favorite one. And as I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in like a fun Valentine's Day look, like pink, a bright pink, maybe some purples. Go ahead and check out my TikTok. I will be posting fun Valentine's Day looks on there. Today, we're just gonna do a nice brown smoky look. Simple but cute. Okay, I already went in with primer, like I mentioned, so you definitely wanna prime your lid. You're gonna take the lightest shade in this palette right here, tap your brush into it, and it just tap that into your crease. And then bring that same shade and bring it down to this part right here at the corner of your eye, just because we're gonna be doing a smoky winged liner look. So right now we're just doing the base for it. All right, now we're taking a small tapered blending brush, grabbing the darkest brown shade in here, and then just bringing that to the corner. All right, now go back in with the first shade you had and just go back in to the, like the edges of the darker brown, just really blending them together. All right, now we're gonna use the black shade in here, which. I don't know how I'm missing a chunk, but somehow I did. And now we're gonna take a winged liner brush and create a wing. I personally want it to be a little bit more straight, but that's where the tape comes in and it helps you. And right, now we're just gonna take a clean tapered brush. This is a bit more dense from the last brush I had. And then just blend out this wing liner we just created. I grabbed a little bit of the lightest brown shade that we used and I'm just hovering over this black liner. Now we're going back in with the black liner and just, just recreating the wing again. Although after this time you dip your brush into your black shadow, we're gonna spray it down with some setting spray. Make sure you use a setting spray that has like no fragrance in it and go ahead and create your wing again. Then going back in and blending it out. I know it's just a little tedious, but I promise you it's all gonna come together. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Now I'm just gonna go in with that dark brown shade in a angled fluffy brush and pat that in and bringing it inward. And then grabbing a clean tapered blending brush and just blending everything together. Now you could leave it like this. You could clean it up with a white shadow right here or, or we could go ahead and grab a silver and add a little bit of spice, which I think that's the look I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna grab this first silver shade right here in the palette and tap my brush into it. And I personally want this to be very pigmented, so I'm gonna spray it and then just placing it on. Oh, I should have cut the crease. That's what I should have done. Well, live and you learn, you know? Going in back in with that lighter brown shade and just blending that shimmer into the rest of the eye. It's just a constant of like going back in with different shades and just blending everything together. I think we're in a good spot right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the eye tape and let's see what we're working with. Bam, okay, so don't worry about this harsh line. We're gonna clean her up. Let me go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. We are going to finish up this look. Going back in with the truffles palette, let's take another liner brush and grab that black shade and tight line your waterline. Now taking the dark brown shade and just kind of smudging that into that black, really smoking it out. All right, now going back in with the lightest brown shade and a fluffy blending brush. And just, again, smoking out the darker shades, blending them together. Gonna throw on some black eyeliner just right in the outer corner. Right now we're here for the close-up shot. My lashes, <laughs> Just ignore them, honestly. They look good from afar, but when you look at them up close, I really should have cleaned these lashes before I use them. But this is the finished look. This is a very sultry, seductive, sexy, 
all three S's that we want on Valentine's Day. And all drugstore, all from, we ended up using just this one little palette from e.l.f. And this is like $3, go get it. It blends beautifully. I personally love this look. I feel so sexy right now. Maybe this top, this turtleneck, it has to go, you know? Should have put on something a little, a little bit better. But I hope you guys like this look and I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. I hope it's filled with so much love. And leave a comment down below, what's your favorite Valentine's Day candy? I'm curious. Mine is always gonna be a take five. I just, I love take five or Ferrero Rocher's. I hope I'm saying that right, but those are delicious. If you enjoy this makeup look, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And as always, before signing off, I wanna leave you with this. You are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy. All right guys, bye.